Hello everyone, back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my report system using Heroku this time, since literally every other proxy is not working. People are having problems with it, but I'm finally updating it. So let me show you how. So you want to join my Discord server in the description. And once you verify, you'll be able to go to this video models channel and you'll see all the models for my videos right here. Or you could get my plugin uh, right here and then it'll be in the video script section. Um, and after you download the model, since people have problems inserting it, it's pretty simple. You literally just open your files and then go to where, uh, go to the model, drag it and drop it like that. And then you'll get all of it. So you want to put server report and server script service, the report remote event and replicated storage, the template also in replicated storage, and then this GUI and the starter GUI. Now this requires some setup since we're using a uh, proxy with Heroku, you have to deploy it and stuff like that. So you want to go to this webhook service module right here, the script and copy this URL, or you just go to the link in the description and then just go and paste it right there. Now, um, basically, uh, you can't just click deploy to Heroku because um, it's going to say it violates something. I have a video on how to fork it and change it so it doesn't do that. But after you do that, you want to go to your um, your repositories. You want to go to your fork uh, right here. It's my fork of it. And let me show you. So if you edit the readme file by clicking that little thing, that little pencil, and scroll down to where it says um, deploy. Right here, it's gonna show the uh, the original persons uh, who created the page. It's gonna show their URL. You just wanna put yours. I show you how to do that in the video. I'll also link that below. But yeah, after you do that, you wanna save that. I canceled it because I, you know, I already did it. And then click deploy to Heroku. And then after that, you just want to, you know, set your app name and stuff like that. Now, after you just deploy that, it'll, it'll load for a second and then it'll say your app is deployed. And then you just want to go to it real quick. Um, hold on. You want to go to like your homepage and then go to your proxy server that you deployed. And then go to settings and scroll down to here where it says your app can be found at. And you want to copy that URL and then go to proxy module right here and not proxy module, same, same webhook service. And where it says URL, just put your URL right there and then scroll up to where it says reveal config bars, click that and then copy your access key right here. It should say access key. And then the next box would be a little key, copy that and then put it in the second variable, which is access key. And then that's your proxy all set up. Now all you have to do is put your webhook URL right here. You don't have to add anything to it. You can just go to server settings, integrations, webhooks, and then copy the webhook URL as you would normally and just paste it. And then it, hold on. And then it should be working fine. Make sure you have um, game settings, go to security, make sure HTTP request is on, and then enable to do access to API services on, or else it won't work in studio. And then you just want to go ahead and click play. And then click down here where it says report player. Select name and then just type whatever the reason is. And then it'll send to your specified channel. It'll say the person that you reported was reported by. And then the person who reported them, the reason, and the account age. Um, but yeah, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. Um, like I said before, this can be my Discord server. Or the uh, or the model here that you can get in the link in the description below that I showed at the beginning of the video, and yeah.